When I first got the Trek Fuel EX8, I was excited to see how it would handle the trails. I've ridden a few mountain bikes before, but I was curious about how this one would compare. Right away, I noticed that the bike looked solid and well-built. The frame is made of aluminum, but it doesn't feel too heavy. This was important for me because I wanted something that wouldn't wear me out during long rides, especially on climbs. The Fuel EX8 is a full suspension bike, so it has suspension in both the front and back. The rear suspension has 130 millimeters of travel, and the front fork has 140 millimeters. These numbers didn't mean much to me at first, but I've come to realize that they help a lot when going over rough terrain. More suspension travel means the bike can absorb bigger bumps, and I could tell that it would help keep the ride smooth even when the trail gets rough. One thing I noticed right away was how comfortable the bike felt. It has a dropper post, which lets you adjust the seat height on the go. When you're climbing, you can keep the seat high for better pedaling, and when you're going downhill or over technical sections, you can lower it to keep your center of gravity low. I didn't know how much I'd use this feature before riding, but it turned out to be super useful. Climbing. Easier than expected. When you're climbing, you don't want the rear suspension to move too much because it can make you lose energy. The Fuel EX8 has a special shock in the back that stays firm when you need it to. This means that when you're pedaling hard on an uphill, the bike doesn't bounce around, and you don't waste energy. There's also a little lever on the shock that lets you lock it out if you want, which makes it even stiffer for climbs. I used this feature on a few long uphill stretches, and it made a big difference. The Shimano XT12 speed drivetrain also helps with climbing. Having a wide range of gears meant that I could always find one that felt right, no matter how steep the hill was. I didn't feel like I was struggling to push the pedals, even on the tougher climbs. The gears shifted smoothly too, which helped me stay in control. Descending. Confidence boost. When it came to going downhill, the Fuel EX8 shined. I love how stable the bike feels when descending. The combination of the frame geometry and the suspension makes it super predictable, even when you're going fast. I felt like I could trust the bike to handle whatever came my way, whether it was rocks, roots, or loose dirt. The front suspension did a great job of soaking up the bumps. I could ride over rough terrain without feeling like I was getting bounced around. The rear suspension was just as good, smoothing out bigger hits and drops. I didn't feel nervous about tackling more technical sections because I knew the bike could handle it. Another thing that gave me more confidence was the braking. The Fuel EX8 comes with Shimano 4 piston hydraulic disc brakes, and they are really powerful. I could stop quickly when I needed to, which is important when you're riding fast downhill. The brakes also have good modulation, meaning I could control how much I was slowing down without skidding or losing control. Even on longer descents, the brakes stayed strong and didn't fade. Cornering. Fun and stable. Cornering on the Fuel EX8 felt great. The bike's 29-inch wheels roll over obstacles smoothly, and they hold their momentum well. This makes it easier to stay stable when turning at speed. The wider tires, 2.5 inches, also give a lot of grip, so I didn't feel like the bike was going to slide out from under me. Components. Quality without excess. I'm not someone who gets too caught up in the specific parts on a bike, but I do appreciate quality components. The Fuel EX8 comes with a mix of Shimano XT and SLX parts, and they all work well together. The XT drivetrain shifts smoothly, even under load, and the wide range of gears is really useful for both climbing and descending. The Bontrager Line Comp 30 wheels are tubeless ready, which is a great feature. Running tubeless tires means I can ride at lower pressures for better grip and a smoother ride without worrying about pinch flats. I've ridden through sharp rocks and over roots without any issues. Frame. Durable and thoughtful design. The frame on the Fuel EX8 is made of alpha platinum aluminum, which is Trek's high-end aluminum alloy. It's strong but still light enough to make the bike feel nimble. One feature I like is the internal cable routing. The cables run inside the frame, which keeps them protected and gives the bike a cleaner look. It's not just about looks, though having the cables inside the frame also means they're less likely to get damaged or snagged on something while riding. Adjustability, fine-tuning the ride. The Mino Link system lets you adjust the geometry of the bike to suit your riding style or the trail conditions. It's easy to use, too you just flip a chip in the suspension linkage and it changes the head angle and bottom bracket height. If you want a more aggressive setup for technical trails, you can slacken the head angle. If you prefer a steeper setup for faster riding, 
you can adjust it the other way. It's a small adjustment, but it makes a noticeable difference in how the bike handles. Conclusion Overall, the Trek Fuel EX8 has impressed me in just about every way. It strikes a solid balance between performance, comfort, and durability, making it a great all-rounder for trail riders who want a capable and versatile mountain bike. Whether I'm climbing steep trails or tackling rough descents, the Fuel EX8 handles it all with ease. The full suspension absorbs bumps and impacts, making the ride smoother and more controlled, even on challenging terrain. If you're looking for a full suspension bike that can handle a wide range of trail conditions, the Trek Fuel EX8 is worth considering. It's well-built, versatile, and designed with the rider in mind. While there's always room for customization and upgrades, the bike offers plenty right out of the box. Whether you're an experienced rider or someone just getting into more technical terrain, this bike provides a solid platform to grow your skills and enjoy the trails.